and this is Yoshi's Island music for no reason because okay Donkey Kong's all out of music we used Barrel Blast a couple times Pirates Lagoon Island I think uh, appears here after you beat the game which is kind of lame because it would have been more fun if Julie was just really here for no reason at all do, 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 do. I think this isn't a Mario Kart or something. I don't know. I mean, I'm almost 100% sure it's a Yoshi's Island song, but it also strikes me as Mario Party for some reason. Maybe they remixed it into Mario Kart or something. Maybe I'm just insane. Do, 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 do. Oh no. Do, 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 do. Rotating so you don't get the jick. Actually, jicks are probably neater than Gordos, I guess. Okay, this is totally not getting old. Man, whatever. I didn't want a trophy stand anyway. <sighs> I wish you could. I mean, I, I remember back in the good old days, everyone was speculating because that cutscene was the before actual move set and stuff. They thought maybe Falco would have a completely new design move set with uh, two blasters or something neat like that. But no, if all he does is kick his reflector and I can't use it right, and everyone else who I play uh, against Falco. That was worded right, right? Oh, Krakow, hooray. It was Krakow a boss in this. Why was it? Actually, Krakow probably should have been, like, random in the background of, uh, Albert or something. Just because Krakow is, like, important. He's next to Wispy as the boss that should appear in things in Kirby games. I mean, even though I'm upset Dinoblade didn't really do very much besides be a trophy or something. Whatever Dinoblade did. Um. Uh, I guess Dinoblade technically wasn't in very many games besides Kirby Superstar and Kirby Superstar also. Uh, Kirby Air Ride, and of course those are like the main Kirby games I ever played, so I didn't know until a while later that Dinoblade wasn't like a main part of a series like Krakow and Wispy Woods. I like how Krakow was just inexplicably in Kirby and the Amazing Mirror 2 and everything else had like the mirror version of them. I like how I'm probably not talking loud enough for this stupid mic, which either goes like boom, 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 you're breathing into me, boom, boom, or very quiet. Those things are pretty neat, I think. Oh, I didn't know they could go backwards, that's kinda cool. I thought they were too much of an enemy and all of themselves to be turned around like projectile, but now they're just projectile based enemies. What are these down here for? That doesn't make very much sense to me. So much for your paras. Why are they still called paratroopers after they don't have their wings anymore? You get a paratrooper trophy for killing and that happens. Oh look, it's actually your classic red shell. Okay, good, I get to quit using Falco. I don't really like any of the characters here. They did a bad job at Variety putting all the clones next to each other, even though I think that's like the only time they do it. Most of the other clones aren't even in. What are the clones in this game? Mario and Luigi aren't really very good clones. They have too much originality in their movesets to be clones anymore. They only have clones, but they still have the extra bleed them. Die already! Pow, pow. Actually, Diddy can probably, like, grind peanuts and become totally unfair in this because that would totally not be boring and not even oversighted because it's just so monotonous and... Okay, why aren't you dying? Because... So, alright, I'm awesome. Awesome. Ah, uh, what? Just... There's more stuff. Okay, finally. I think every single enemy should have been a playable character. Are these breakable? Okay, it's not breaking the light of that, at least. Ah. And of course, in that time where the water spouts were trying to shoot me up into Gordos. I like how there's actually interesting things in the background that probably don't appear in the game, or at least are glossed over as, hey, this is where Rayquaza lives, because Rayquaza is a water Pokemon, right? I want to make this guy slip a bunch, but uh, it doesn't work and stuff, and I'm just going to kill him for the points, because I, I'm all about the points, man, before finishing the level. Probably should have got a trophy or something for beaten point scores, because otherwise it's pointless. What is this? I thought it was a Falcon Mobile at first, but no, it's just kind of like a giant ship that just kind of exists, and it was there for some reason. Now it's flying off to Angel Island, or... Oh, uh, look.
look, it's the Star Fox Mobile. Yeah, see, it's another instance of only vehicles from video games appearing. Although I guess that's technically a stage, along with, uh, let's go.